today we're going to have an interesting video. It's a quick thing. It's a random video because uh, Vampy and I, we went to the old Dollar Tree. It's the one with the green sign that says Dollar Tree. That's actually a dollar store rather than the other ones with the red signs and this and that. And dollar Tree, I believe. What I did there was I picked up something that I needed for one thing, but turned out that it was so handy, so useful for almost everything else that I had to share it and show you what I mean. And what they are is, you know, this goes along like, remember my sizzle plate, right? You know where they put the steak and it's when you put it in there. Invaluable camp item. Invaluable. This thing has done so many things for me. Out here, you know, in the campsite, in the tent piece here, we're going to call this Camp Gnome. <laughs> okay? So out here in Camp Gnome, you got to be good at it. So remember the sizzle plate. Wherever you can get them, I might look them up, find some restaurant supply store or something that has these, carries these, or I don't know where them restaurants get them. You know, like the Applebee's and the, the, the Den I don't think Denny's has them. There was another one, you know, all of those. They have sizzle plates. Anyway, not the subject of the video. These are the subject of the video. Okay, well, what they are is a little stainless steel spoon rest. Spoon rest. Repose cuillère. 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 Repose cuillère. Okay. There's tough as nails, you know, and uh, we found out a man, like Vampy, opened a can and it didn't quite open well enough because the, the uh, can opener is getting old and such. Well, she took this here, the handle, and reached into that, so you get in, you know, you, can't, you don't want to cut your fingers, it's really hard, and popped it right out. That's what, you know, me, I saw it, and I said, oh my God, anything this good, and that, you know, like this, got to be handy for anything and everything. I used it for scooping up flour, for putting in things, and this and that. You could use it for digging. I mean, holes in the dirt, because it's hard. Okay. Oh. And uh, for measuring, I'm going to find out what, how much this holds. And uh, also, the handle is curved in. You can have stuff in here and pour it into things if you want to be really special about it. I'm going to work on that. I should have done that here. And, I mean, a thousand things. You can use it for eating. You can use it for serving stuff out of stuff. It's small. It's light. Let's have a look at something here. Now, what would you rather have, you know, this or this? Can't, you know, I mean, you could probably do a lot of things with this, this and that, you know. But this in your pack... I'm telling you, what else can you, I mean, what can you think of to do with an item like this? Um, they're a dollar at the dollar store. I picked up a buttload of them because I'm just that way, you know. <laughs> but here it is. Ghetto Prepper item of the day. Stainless steel spoon rest. Doesn't say anything else about it. Just it's all in... Greenbrier International Incorporated, Volvo Parkway, Chesapeake, Virginia, and in Canada, dishwasher safe. Hey, come on. So, uh, I'm telling you, eating spoon, serving spoon, you can even put shit to eat in it. Sorry, didn't mean that. You could set it on something, cook an egg in it, or something, spices, anything. It's, it, I cannot extol more the virtues and the uses of this item, the spoon rest, stainless steel, dollar at the Dollar Tree. Get one, have one, today. Anyway, there it is. Live by your wits, not by your worries. And remember, the nicer you make it, the less you can take it. All right, peace. Bye. La, la, la.
that works. Wee! Okay, bye.